Good evening, YouTube family. Um, all right, taking a look at the markets, we took out uh, the highs in the NASDAQ. We're at all-time highs in the NASDAQ, so it's been a pretty awesome run for the past couple years. You can see that we've got some slop here. Um, you know, this was kind of wide and whippy. Um, it's been for a while. You can see we can't, you know, a nice uptrend right there, and then We've got this, but it did stabilize. We had kind of a cup with the handle pattern here. Um, it took off, came back and hit the 50. That's where institutional support's gonna come in and blast off and made some new highs. All stocks were looking good today. We had some predictions last night. Um, we said Amazon looked good for a buy. Amazon is up a total of 41 points today. So. If you took Amazon uh, at our call yesterday, you were able to profit um, a good chunk of that. We did gap up about um, from 1753-ish to about 1768-ish, but from 1768 to 1790, that was all uh, points you could have captured this morning. Look at this, even on a five minute chart, we never closed below the appeared moving average. That's just a strong trend all day. Any pullback in that is viable. Um, yesterday we also called MasterCard. Uh, MasterCard was up about five bucks today. And we called Netflix. Netflix was down $5 today and that is because uh, uh, UBS come in and uh, they downgraded the stock, um, as you can see right there, uh, before the open this morning. So Netflix got a little bit of a downgrade, um, and pe you know people panicked a little bit, and they sold off. But for a sell-off in Netflix to only be five bucks, it's still showing a major strength in there. I think a lot of funds are going to use any weakness in this to pick it up and buy it you can see we moved down on this 15 minute chart in the morning as people were scared and then we got a stability and i think actually we could go higher um but we'll just have to see tomorrow we'll wait and see what it does and we'll play it then uh let's take a look at some new picks so for tomorrow this is making, ABMD is making a really nice rounding pattern. It's got a back and fill, maybe just a little bit more, but watch this to kind of just grind higher. As it starts to grind higher, um, you could pick it up at any R RBTO. Um, and that would that's that one. Um, but that looks good to go higher. And I think we could retest those highs. We're at 414 right now. It looks like we could get back up to about 450 and even possibly take out that high if the market stays strong. And if we do, we could be going all the way to about 466, which would be about a 50 point move in ABMD. Um, Adobe, a lot of people know Adobe. That looks higher. Um, it made a nice move today. It looks like it wants to gain uh, get some new highs in there. We've retraced a lot of this already, and we're at the. We've already blown through the uh, 786, which means we could get to the uh, uh, 1272 extension, which is at 264, and we're at 254 right now. So there's a possible 10 points in Adobe. How do you play it? If we take out the high tomorrow, which the high of today was. 255.05 so if we hit 255.10 let's say by a nickel you can go in um, with a stop underneath the low at 249.30 um, and then hold on for the 1272 extension all right so that's how you play adobe abmd is not just ready just yet but you need to put that on a watch list because um it's going to take off. It should take off pretty soon. Um, this here's a low price stock, tall, and 
if it takes out the high of this tomorrow at 39, let's say 39.50, if we get above that, that is a buy. All right, so there's your two free picks, uh, Tall and Adobe with ABMD. Definitely put that on a watch list. I'll be watching that, tell you uh, what I see, when to enter, when I'm getting in, and um, and uh, your, your entry and your stop and your target, okay? So that's about it for today. You got those three. Anybody who took our picks from last night did very well today. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.